Bike packing. It is out there for everyone and I'd urge anyone to give it a go. However, there are slightly different levels in how you experience it. Personally, I love to bivy bag. Pure essentials, minimalist. Just me versus nature. Survivalist. And I like camping. I like bringing my home away with me. Taking a tent and a, a cooking utensils and a nice mattress, maybe even a duvet. You've got all you need in your tent. Now that's the way to do a weekend. <coughs> we aren't all cast from the same mould, although we all share a love of cycling and using bikes to travel and experience the world, it can take different forms. Some of us are used to the more finer things in life, such as not scented candles, heated towels, nice warm showers, little chocolates left on your pillow. Three riders, one bikepacking trip. A very cold British winter, many rough roads, and one naive and rather picky tech presenter. This is the life. This is budget versus premium, bike packing versus luxury. I'm not letting Hank beat me with a full wardrobe on his bike. Oh my goodness, you're leaking. And so we are off on a rather lovely winter's morning here in the city of Bath. We've been sent three of High Bike's electric trekking bikes for this misadventure. This is the High Bike Trekking 10. Now, it's got a Bosch Performance CX motor with 85 Nm of torque, Suntour Moby forks with 100mm of travel, and tyres wide enough to ride over your grandparents' allotment patch. It can handle any detours, which is a good thing because I've chosen the route for this misadventure. So, uh, going to be relying on these bikes a good bit. Now this is your classic weekend away with your mates, a night under the stars, round the campfire, sharing stories of old. And talking of which, here comes my mate, Hank. Here comes. Ho, 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 How adventure. much stuff are you carrying? You look like a float in the Rio de Janeiro carnival. Hold on, let what me explain. There? Let me explain. So, a parachute. You said adventure. Little gathering, little camping trip with your mates. I thought, well, you always want to come One prepared. Night. One night, mate. Yeah, you always want to come prepared. So, the uh, this uh, rack can actually carry 225 kilograms, not 200, 25 kilograms. So I thought, make the most of it. So I've got sleeping bag, camping equipment. I've got some eggs, some Toblerone for tonight, milk for cereal, bit of lunch with a baguette. I've also got a frame bag, because, well, I'm not going to overload that bike because it can actually take 130 kilograms, so I could potentially get you on the back as well. You sure uh, the French stick isn't for warding off dogs? Well, it could be that as well. And then I've got Why rucksack you cycling clothing. Kit? Why aren't you cycling kit? Well, because I'm touring. You don't need cycling. Like, are you going to race it? Well, we are racers. Fair enough. Anyway, here comes Ollie, and he's looking very light compared to you, if I'm honest. Hold on a minute. What if you, we're going camping, Ollie. Camping. Where's your tent? Where's your sleeping bag? Don't need one. What do you mean you don't need one? You got, you're going to be cold at night. Glamping, aren't they? Glamping? Yeah. That wasn't part of the plan. What was it? Money bags. Come around the campfire with us. Yeah. Where are your boxes? Don't need them. What do you mean you don't need them? What happens if you have an accident? Well, if I need, need a pair, I'll use the card, buy a pair. So you're just cruising on your card, are you? Don't think you're going to squeeze in my tent, mate. Don't need to. Not enough room. You're not going to appreciate the beauty of sleeping under the stars, like myself and Hank. We're camping. We're, you know, survivalists. I'm in my bivy bag. Bare oh, essentials. I'm going to crack on. I've got a hot tub to get to. Bye. You, oh, for, you oh, forgot to put your kickstand oh, Ollie, up. Your kickstand. Kickstand. <laughs> we better catch him up. Right. <laughs> this is oh. going to be some experience oh, taking oh, him oh, bikepacking him. You, you know he's never been bikepacking. He's never been. Not like us experts, Hank. All right, catch us up, mate. And so we're off on a bike packing adventure. You ready, boys? I'm ready! Three different ways to bike pack. It's an accessible thing for anyone to try. We're going to show you the different ways you can do it yourself. So, which one would you prefer? Let's find out.
Now these guys have gone all lycra, but I don't think you really need to. Adventure's about just getting out the front door, and if I'm on an e-bike, well I thought, why not go in casual clothing? Flat pedals. My setup differs from that of the other two clowns. I want this to be fun. I want to enjoy it, and there's no need to carry loads of stuff. I'm one of those people that likes to be comfortable. I like to be warm. I like the finer things in life. We are in the middle of winter here in the south of England, so the fact I'm sleeping in a bivy bag, I feel, is maybe a little bit brave. My first time sleeping under the stars in cold weather, but I'm excited nonetheless. I want to prove that it's possible that I can do it. Oh my goodness! You're leaking! You're leaking! You're leaking more than power. You got a lot of white stuff coming out the back of you. <laughs> I don't think you'll have any milk left. Oh my god! You got a leak. <laughs> Stop! 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 We're having a race here. What do you mean? Race time. Oh. It's not all. You're not getting it easy the whole way there. Head to head. What do you reckon? It's about 15 percent kilometer long. Yeah, but it's slightly unfair. I've got a lot more weight on my bike. Well, you've got turbo mode. That's 340 percent. Right. Power boost. I mean, I'm going to go in turbo mode as well. What are you going in, Ollie? Turbo. 85 newton meters of torque. Hey, Ollie doesn't need turbo. He's got nothing to him. He, that's true, actually. He never, he never eats, does he? He's like a, he's like a Alberta. Whoa! Getting frisky! Yeah. Shall, we, shall I start us? Three, two, one! God, that might start! Well, I've got a lot of weight on this bike. Not letting Hank beat me with a full wardrobe on his bike. Oh! That's what you get for carrying a wardrobe on your bike, you idiot. I beat Hank in a challenge on GCN. Savor in the moment. Well, there we go. Light luxury Ollie took the win. That's it. I was in a lovely I, second place. I was in eco mode. Fly within 16 miles an hour up that. That was 20% at to the top. All right, well, we better crack on. Tell you what, Hank you don't last. win hill climbs by, uh, by eating Toblerone. You don't. Come but on, boys. I'm trying to lose some weight. Actually, do you mind if I have a little bit? No, you're not carrying it. Come on. Well, one, one, no, no, no. one pyramid. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. Oi, how'd you get that? I've got a lot of arms. A lot of arms and a hungry stomach. You can explore the world by bike, whether that's your backyard roads or a full voyage of discovery. Hit the road, sell all your possessions, hand your notice in at work, live on a diet of rice and beans, and do an around the world trip. And if you are going around the world or exploring your local roads, you're probably gonna encounter some rough trails, some muddy routes from time to time. And that's what I'm bringing the guys down next. A particularly dirty stretch of trail. And Tell you what, I'm looking forward to this because the high bike is going to be in its element. Those wider tyres, front suspension, bomb proof aluminium frame, it's even integrated lights because it's starting to get a bit dark and I'm going to want to see those potholes. Basically, you're going to be safe and secure no matter where you go. Hank, on the other hand, I'm not sure how Hank's going to cope with these ones, particularly <laughs> with those eggs on the back. Hi, eggs! 
<laughs> Kom op, vind dat mooi heks! Hey, volgende dag! About the night ahead, then, mate. It's starting to kind of get a bit dark already. Do you know what? I can't wait. I've, I've even I've just phoned ahead to the to the glamping place. I've got champagne on ice waiting for me when I get there. It's gonna be great. Oh, yeah. Oh, living the life. Yeah. I mean, you're not gonna get the full sense of the adventure, though. If I'm honest, you're not gonna be out there in nature. You know. You know. I'm gonna be there with the, the nocturnal animals and. The wild winds and the stars. You, you're not going to experience that, I don't think. No, I'm not. You're right. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Is oh, this yeah. your place, Ollie? So let's kind of. Oh, that's my pod. Is that your pod? That's my glamping pod. Well, I see uh, the tree I'm going to camp next to. This is the, the glamping pod, all the mod cons. It's fantastic in here, I've got a hob, I've got a full, full little kitchen, toaster, just got some toast on the go. Plenty of um, provisions to keep me hydrated as well. Red wine, gin, chocolates. Best of all though, look at this. Got a log burner. Oh. So it looks like, um, well, we've pulled the short straw. The, the rain started to come in. Luckily, I bought enough clothing, so I've got a big down jacket to wear, but... Uh, I need to get changed into some normal clothes. Well, you, on the other hand, look like you're going to freeze your nut bags off. I'm going to dance the tango here, get my normal clothes on. Look at this guy. Got the fire raging, and uh, got the cooking on the go as well. Got a, um, a cassoulet on the go, and some, some red wine open. Check this out. Yes. Oh, it's great. I wonder how those two clowns are getting on outside. <laughs> right, I need to get my tent. You what what are you sleeping in? Well, I'm putting a tarp up, so that's just a, a basic shelter that I'm going to tie to the trees, and then I'm, I'm going to have my bivvy bag, got a little mat to sleep on, and um, a sleeping bag. Oh, mate, it sounds lovely. Right, I'm that's going to on, on yourself to the tent there. I'm here for the night. Sheltered from the rain. What more do you need? Perfect. Lay the old mat out there. I didn't bring my mat. <laughs> no. I brought a sleeping bag instead of the mat. <laughs> no. Cassoulet. Made, glass of red wine. <laughs> Wonder what those two losers are up to. <laughs> I guess, uh, I guess this is it for me. You're like, a, you're gonna be a, a very cold, big man in a bag. I'm just a giant wrapped up like yeah. a tea bag for the night. Yeah. Anyway, that's where we're gonna be sleeping. Beautiful. In the hot tub, living the dream. Yes. Feel like a banana in one of those, you know, those banana holders you get at school that stop your bananas getting mushed. I feel like I'm in one of those, but I'm, a, I'm too big a banana. Oh, survived the night. This is what it's all about for me, an accomplishment. I've achieved something. I've, I've, I've survived the winter in December. I made it to the morning. Um, I was very grateful for Hank's mattress because I forgot mine. I brought two sleeping bags instead of one sleeping bag and one mattress. What a night. I froze my bloody nuts off last night. 
I had to give my thermal rest to Connor because he forgot it. Uh, ended up sleeping on the floor. Um, and I was cold, real cold. But that all being said, I do like camping. <laughs> The, the morning is the best bit about bivy bagging is you wake up, you have immediately, you have that morning smell, you know, you smell the soil, you see the sunrise, you have that fresh air. Oh, that was incredible. It was a great night's sleep. I mean, it's so toasty in here. I mean, if anything, I was too warm. It's, uh, yeah, very, very cosy in, in this little, this little glamping pod. Nice, right, I'm gonna, Make a brew. Have some, um, I think I'll have some eggs on toast as well. Oh, right. Ooh. Oh, ready to roll home. Slept like an absolute log. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Slightly dazed, but good. Had a brilliant night's sleep. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, not as good as me. Well, no. Probably, that's probably the best night's sleep I've ever had in my life. You don't need, you can't knock it. Ah, oh, morning team! Morning. How right. we doing? Oh, great, yeah, fan dabby dozy. God, you look good, don't you? Yeah. Not so good. No, I'm feeling good. I'm not, uh, yeah, physically, but mentally I'm, I'm feeling brilliant. Physically, I'm a bit sore. I'm mm. not going to lie. But I think it's time we kind of wrapped up this whole adventure because it was brilliant to share it all with you. And I think doing it on e-bikes just shows how accessible bike packing can be. We did it three different types of camping. So I was pure essential bivy bagging, you were in your tent, Ollie was cheating. Well, it's not cheating. It, bike packing is about the journey, not the destination. What journey were you on? I went on a journey to a hot tub, it was great. <laughs> He, ha he has got a point though, he has got a point. <laughs> because when you go bikepacking, I really just want you to try it. And you don't feel like you have to rough it like I did. I think it's for anyone. And it doesn't matter how you sleep, how you go about it. Yeah, I was gonna say there's so many different types in there. So you did the bivy bag, I did the more camping based. With Bring tent, everything you own. Bring everything you own. And I've got to say though, an e-bike made that possible because I wouldn't normally carry such a big tent and clothing and a towel and everything in between if I wasn't on an e-bike and keeping up with you guys that were traveling lightweight. Yeah. yeah. And at the other end of the spectrum, you've got to say we're all experienced cyclists, but the beauty of an e-bike in this kind of application is that it opens up this kind of adventure to a whole host of other people that aren't as confident at cycling or aren't as strong or maybe haven't been doing it as long and they can still go out and have an adventure. Let's talk about battery. Yeah. Because people at home will be asking, how did you charge your battery? So we did go to a pub last night and have some food. We took our battery with us, took the, took the old charging cable, plugged it into the socket, two hours, 50% charge. So about enough time to have a starter, main and a dessert. Yeah, which is what we may have had. What did you? Well, I could have charged it if I needed to in my glamping pod or my luxury hotel if I was staying in one as I, that's what I often do the rest of the time. But the, uh, the, the fact is, I actually didn't need to charge it. I still had 60% battery at the end when we got here, and that's because I was traveling late, light. There was less weight on the bike, so it was using less power. So talking about kit, <clears throat> people are gonna ask why I'm not in, in Lycra, but I think the bikes we're riding actually allowed you to ride in casual kit. I mean, you could have done this in whatever clothes suit your boots. Right, should we crack on home then? Yeah, I think it's time we get home. Let, first up, let's ask the viewers which one you'd have rather joined. Yep. Myself, Hank or Ollie. <laughs> and the <We're>, hot tub. <laughs> Ten. Bivy bag. I mean, I was out, I, you know, I was talking to the Badgers last night. Don't ask the viewers to join you in that bivy bag, mate. I know what that smelled like. No, you probably wouldn't have wanted to join me in that. It would have been a bit, ah, a bit tight, a bit close for comfort. Right, journey home. Race ya. Turbo mode home! Whoa! And that's it. 
We survived the night, we're on our way home. The wind is in our sails, turbo mode's engaged, and we had an absolutely cracking time. Big thanks to High Boat for making it possible. And I really do hope we've inspired you to try boat packing because it's such a rewarding experience. Doesn't matter if you stay in a boo bag, a tent, or a glamping pod, because when you're riding home like this, with the sun, blue skies, wind on your back, it makes you feel like you can conquer anything, so please, please give it a go. And I'm, I'm glad we let Ollie have the glamping pod this time, between, between me and you. I think he deserved a bit of a treat. I'm glad he had a few chocolates left on his pillow. But right now, just enjoy the ride home. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you on the next video. Woohoo!